I'm Silke, I'm with the World Food Programme here in Afghanistan. This morning I'm at Kabul Airport waiting to get on a flight with the UN Humanitarian Air Service, UNHAS, and I'm heading up to Bamiyan to see what WFP operations are doing up there. So what we're looking at today is a Food for Assets project um, which involves the building of trails connecting seven valleys here in the area. It's a total of about 40 kilometres of trails. <laughs> I'm getting to test out the donkey trail on my own. <laughs> and it's quite frightening. <laughs> this path was actually only completed two days ago, but the villagers are already using it. So this is Khadija. She is uh, planting apricot seeds. And she's been working out here all morning and she tries to come here most days. For every month that she works, she gets a WFP food ration, wheat, pulses, oil and salt. That will help feed her family for a couple of weeks. She has six children. She was just telling me she enjoys this work very much. Um, she likes being outdoors. She doesn't have a garden of her own. And it's much more interesting than the housework she used to do. What we're looking at here is a watershed management system. These walls that you can see are called trosses and they serve to slow down the flow of water down the hillside which um, helps prevent soil erosion. So these are examples of some really well integrated projects. It all fits together. You have the food for work on the one hand, the nurseries where the tree saplings are produced, and when those saplings are big enough, they're in turn planted in food for asset projects, such as these watershed management projects. That in turn fits in together with the food security aspect. So the, the hiking trails, which are built with tourism in mind, are also useful to the local community when they need to go to other villages to sell or to buy food. So it all fits together really quite nicely. <laughs> 